South African threatened with being fired for posting Happy Atheist Day. Recently, a South African posted on the Reddit form r slash atheism that they were threatened with termination of their employment for, quote, being openly atheist. The threat came after the person shared a Happy Atheist Day picture on their WhatsApp status, status which they believed to be only viewable to friends and family. I was forced to remove the status. I now have a consultation with our Christian and offended HR lady on Friday, the post said. I need to be prepared for this. Although the post has since been deleted and the individual who posted it was using a throwaway account, the comments on the original post in r slash atheism are still available for viewing. One Redditor quickly advised the original poster to quote, make sure to get it in writing so you can sue them. At the same time, others recommended referring to existing laws in South Africa for legal remedies. In their official statement, the Atheist Republic Cape Town Consulate said that they are, quote, outraged at the blatant case of discrimination in our backyard. AR Cape Town Consulate also reminded everyone through their statement that South Africa's constitution, quote, guarantees all citizens the right to freedom of and freedom from religion. Quote, the veiled threat of job loss for failing to conform to dogma is in unacceptable, they added. Okay, so instead of saying AR consulate, say Atheist Republic um, consulate, because a lot of people might not know what you're referring to. But yeah, um, this is why we need Atheist Day, by the way. This is the whole point of it. Like they, somebody said Happy Atheist Day, and they're getting... They, they're demonstrating the point of Atheist Day is to normalize atheism because of this. So these people are demonstrating how important it is for us to normalize atheism on Atheist Day. God damn it. Like this person is like, for your atheism, you're a, you're a, you're a threat. You know, we are going to threaten you would lose your job. And happy Atheist Day, by the way. Here's your, here's your, here's your gift so ridiculous are is that like is that even allowed in south africa to do something like this no like, that's you should be able to solutional that's job discrimination unbelievable um so is this person going to be able to get this in writing like like uh, we need like we can't you can't just go by hearsay like they need evidence to be able to sue this right to make it to make it legal case. yeah i mean it's so what happened was that this post was posted on r slash atheism and it actually made the news and some news sites in south africa and dean kruger mm -hmm. the leader of our atheist republic cape town consulate is actually the one who brought this to my attention and sent it to me and i was outraged I was like we have to cover this um mm -hmm. the person who made the original post on r slash atheism like deleted the post but we found like we're very good investigators we found it all archived on the web archive and you can still like see all the comments on the original post, um, which I put in the Google Doc if you want to show it. Um, but in um, our writer found the original account of who posted this and tried to contact this account for comment or to find an update of what happened. Um, and then no one responded. So we're not sure what the update of this situation is. Um, but it just goes to show that there are still major consequences for people being openly atheist, um, even in countries that guarantee the rights to, you know, be an open apostate. Um, insane. That's insane. God damn it. Like the South Africa is not even like one of those uber religious countries. And this is what you get. Imagine what it's like in more religious countries mm -hmm. right it's yeah south africa is, yeah so um sh i mean sh for something so the mild like, too yeah, like on. just saying happy atheist day like isn't in any way um taking a shot or what could yeah. be perceived as taking a shot at another religion it's just like acknowledging atheism yeah it's not even an attack so it's not even... over it and forced to delete it on their personal yeah. social medias it's yeah yeah so, very good points like not your personal account is being monitored by your employer and you're not even attacking any religions you're just saying happy atheist day 
like just happy atheist day and you're like oh that's not allowed like does anything show you that how like it, this is such a, a great indication of how our just the mere our mere existence just the mention not even our existence the mention of our existence can get you in trouble like can you think of any other demographic group of people that this is their mere existence is is considered this toxic you know like i'm pretty sure like in south africa you're not gonna get in trouble for like saying i don't know happy ramadan or merry christmas or i don't know happy hanukkah or anything or happy diwali like anything like none none of this will nobody would even think about get threatening you or making you lose your job and even if that happens the reaction would be huge right imagine if somebody was getting fired um i don't know in the us or in south africa for being muslim i mean there would be there would be an outcry and rightfully so like i'm not saying there shouldn't be but when it's because of somebody being an atheist like nobody you know not that many people give a crap right this is why Atheist Republic is such an important, you know, organization because we're trying to fill that gap. Like we are the hope. That's one reason why we started Atheist Day, because when you discriminate against Jewish people, Muslims, Christians, Hindus, there's a backlash. There's a there's a cost associated with that. I don't, I don't say it doesn't happen. It happens. But there's a community of people who come out and say, like, hey, that's not OK. But when it comes to discrimination against atheists, the backlash is not there. So the reason why so many people are, are feel free to do that is because there's not that much cost associated with being anti-atheist, with discriminating against atheists. And what Atheist Republic is trying to do is to make sure there is a backlash, that there is a cost associated with this. Um, so yeah, that we're, 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 fill, we're trying to fill in that gap that, you know, and we are far behind, which reminds me, guys, please like this video and support our channel, share our content. So because we're, you know, we are like we are at the front of, you know, Atheist Republic. Like, look how small Atheist Republic is compared to every all these other, you know, movements and, group, and groups of people who are defending each other. And then and also remember that we are the, the biggest atheist group there is. Right. So. <laughs> We need to become a lot more, uh, we need to be a lot bigger. We need to become a lot more relevant and we need your help doing doing that, okay? Because we need to, we are the, one of the only organizations that are amplifying the voices of atheists and also like, where do you see this being highlighted on what other YouTube channel? Or what? How many other media is covering this, right? So please make sure you like this video, share this video and promote our channel, promote our accounts so that this, so that there is a voice for atheists out there. Yeah, I completely agree. I would also encourage people to subscribe to the Atheist Republic Cape Town Consulate, speaking of South African atheists, because mm. it's led by Dean, the leader of our um, Atheist Republic Cape Town Consulate. He started a channel and not only focuses on atheist issues in South Africa, but really highlights atheism and non-belief in Africa altogether. Um, really incredible channel, does really good programming. So you can either um, subscribe by following the link that I just put in the live chat or just in YouTube search for Atheist Republic Cape Town. And you should find that channel right away. Um, D is making the very good point that it's yep. actually Satanists would likely find the same outrage or potential discrimination in the workplace. And I think that's probably true. And yeah. talking about you know well, I say that it doesn't exist i just say that how many other like but i'm but mm -hmm. i was suggesting is like there's few other but yes that's mm -hmm. a good point. yeah and devout oh. atheist sean is saying on twitch that's a good reminder guys go follow us on twitch um saying all we really have is each other and for the most part i would agree with you and say that that's true however i should highlight the fact that the bread of life who's a Christian supporter of this channel, just gave us $10 saying to help you in your efforts toward free speech and freedom of religion and non-religion. So we Aww. actually do have a lot mm. of religious supporters or allies, which is like super appreciated. And thank you for your $10, mm -hmm. Brent of Life. We have, uh, we, have, we have Muslims who support us. We have Christians who support us. We have Hindus who support us. We have Jewish people who support us. And they don't make 
our their support a conditional on us not criticizing their religion right mm -hmm. um which is very nice thank you um thank you so much for the ten dollar super chat bread of love i hope you're rich because you're giving us so many super chats you shouldn't <laughs> be supporting us this much unless you're rich <laughs> but thank you for that um, um music guy music. is saying i'm glad south africa has an atheist republic channel me too guys make sure to go check it out um and alif muhammad is saying was it dangerous to post something like happy international women's day in iran i ask because i wonder if the mention of feminism triggers something similar with some muslims armin what do you think no iran has its own official women's day um but they don't recognize international women's day they have their own women's day which i think is the birthday of fatima um which is muhammad's daughter so they do have their women's day there so i mean no wait a minute that's mother's day never mind which is the same and by the way they consider the same thing because all women are supposed to be mothers at some point that's the role of a <laughs> yeah 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 mother <laughs> that's a role a role of a woman is to be a mother no never mind they weren't you have telling me day. that they have a mother's in farsi, day never. yeah in farsi the word for woman and the word for wife is the same because yeah you say zanim, you say show man which is my husband when you say zanaman which is my wife but zan also means woman so basically it kind of suggests that like the role, a woman is supposed to be a wife. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason, but it's very interesting that the name for woman and wife are the same thing. We also have mm -hmm. another Twitch comment. Yeah, so Forever Stormy is asking, how does one set up an atheist republic consulate? Well, Stormy, I believe you are based in India. So we actually have over somewhere from 14 to 18 different consulates already in India. Um, so, but the problem is, is that because of the sexy Kali controversy, we had to pull down the links to our Indian consulates um, from public viewing because people were receiving death threats and getting their accounts mass reported and banned. Um, so if you are in India and would like to be connected to the Atheist Republic community in India, which is one of the largest in the world in terms of our community, um, please email me at Susanna, which is S-U-S-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, at atheistrepublic.com, and I can personally get you hooked up to the community. Or if you're not in India and you haven't seen um, a consulate in your city, you can find all of them at atheistrepublic.com slash consulates. Um, on that URL, there should be a form where you can submit to set up a new consulate. Um, so let me know if you want to get hooked up in India, reach out to me. If you're not in India and you can't find what you're looking for, also reach out to me. Um, Adam Rickster is saying, do we have Iranians who, who supporting us? That's the big question. What? I don't, I don't, we have the ent uh, entire channel of, we have Atheist Republic Persian channel. We have like, we have shows in Persian. So, and we have that, that channel is growing fast and we're becoming more and more uh, relevant in the in the atheist scene in Iran because of the channel. By the way, uh, if in a few hours, um, me I have a live stream in Persian uh, with three other major major uh, Iranian atheists. This is like the it's supposed to be four of the uh, biggest Iranian atheists. Um, so I'm so amazed to be included the in this stream panel. is even titled the four horsemen of iranian atheism yeah that's how it's being referred to ah. but yeah <laughs> so i'm uh, that, that stream is coming out that Recognize. stream is going to be the in persian is, is happening in a few hours yeah so no like no atheist republic is like very big uh, in, in in the Iranian community. Okay, so yeah, and, I had and that growing. big reaction saying what because it's huge, <laughs> huge yes, yes. in the Iranian atheist scene. Um, atheist Republic is big in um, Iran, in Philippines, in India. Um, yeah, these are like we're everywhere, Malaysia, but these are, but those are Malaysia. our main, our top. These three. are yeah, these are some major places that we're active at. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Oh, and very quickly, Bread of Life are saying, what do the consulates do? So the consulates are for people who want to find atheists in their local community. Because for a lot of people, um, having an online community isn't enough. 
the value and support that they get from an in-person community really brings a lot of benefit to their lives, especially if they've been dealing with social or familial, familial rejection. So check it out, atheistrepublic.com slash consulates. Hey, and Music Guy just posted in the live chat. Thank you, Music Guy. Yeah. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.